In Movies and Money, film critic Eric Childress joins us now with an update on Wonder Woman 1984. Hello to you, Eric. Hi, Angie. You have been following this saga with Warner Brothers and the release of that film. What can you tell us, Eric? Yes, Angie, I for one think it is safe to say that with this new batch of closings that Warner Brothers is not going to tempt fate again by sticking to a Christmas Day release plan, which is probably why reports surfaced that they were thinking about going with a limited theatrical launch on that day and then moving the film directly to HBO Max, which is becoming DC Comics Central, especially with all the attention being given to Zack Snyder's recut and reshot Justice League miniseries. So the enticement of the new Wonder Woman could theoretically boost subscriptions, except the streaming extension extension of HBO is still not being offered to many people who have quote-unquote cut the cord, as they say, from cable. It took until just this week for it to be included as an app on Amazon Fire televisions, and yet they still have not struck a deal with Roku for inclusion for people who subscribe to HBO there. Plus, it just seemed like throwing away hundreds of millions of dollars at this point. It is more likely they will ditch Christmas entirely and push the film back into June, likely post-vaccinations, which is something they probably should have done right from the get-go. Universal has struck another deal with a theater chain involving how films will be optioned out to streaming services. What can you tell us? Yes, Angie, you may recall a similar deal they made with AMC Theaters after getting into a public spat over the Troll sequel going to streaming back in April. Though this one gets a little more specific in that any Universal film that opens to over 50 million domestically will automatically be given at least a 31-day theatrical window, meaning they cannot be shifted to a streaming service in that time. Those falling below that opening threshold will only have a 17-day or three-weekend window for theaters, at which time an option goes into place to make it available for home viewing for a price of which the theaters will get roughly 15% of those profits. Uh, AMC has already been testing this out with recent Universal and Focus releases, such as last week's Freaky, Come Play, and Let Him Go. And the theater chain has said that they have already shown better returns with this deal than if those films had their usual two-and-a-half-month window. Uh, obviously, theatrical returns are minimal at the moment, so it will be curious to see how this plays out and affects these titles and their streaming returns when more options become available for viewers, hopefully starting again next summer. So much is changing. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Angie. More Business First AM. Check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.